Australian, no. New Zealander, not a chance. South African, maybe? Nope, nope, and nope. Maybe an Argentinian, got enough of those. Pacific Islanders, not even one of them either. So what is left? I tell you what's left, an Englishman. What? That's right, we've got ourselves an Englishman. We are trying to grab for Super Rugby Rejects. What is going on everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back along to your home of rugby and of course the Super Rugby Rejects. Where today we're going after an Englishman who's a black belt in karate and he's going to kick everyone's ass who gets in his way. Today we're back in France. Bonjour everyone and welcome to our mission to take Joe Marchant to the Super Rugby Rejects. Now I hear you all going, what? Especially people that don't watch Super Rugby. What are you talking about? Joe Marchant, he's no way. He played for the Blues. He played one season for the Blues. He played a mighty seven games, scored a magnificent three tries, and then went back to Harlequins. Look, Joe Marchant is not a massive Super Rugby man. But let's be honest, very few Northern Hemisphere players that come to Super Rugby end up being Super Rugby successes. So Joe Marchant, welcome to a potential Super Rugby reject. Of course, this man has played a stack of games, over 150 for Harlequins before his little sabbatical to play for the Blues. Now he's moved on to the fruit drinks. It's Stade Francais, where he is sitting about his new life in France and of course a member of England's third place side at the Rugby World Cup 2023 he has represented England a number of times over the last four years so an integral part of their midfield and hopefully an integral part of the rejects soon as well today we're looking to add to the team with a black belt and karate which you love to see there's a number of players in the start front say side we could also run to grab and we will be back for especially one of these guys. One is Sifan Novalu, the midfield partner for Marchin. And of course, one we definitely will be back for is Brad Weber. Don't forget as well, in the forward pack, they've got Francisco Gomez Cadella in the front row. We could also jump on. But I feel like with Kitschoff and Tami Afuna, our props are almost done. We just need a little bit of depth in behind those guys. So especially today, we're looking to shore up that midfield. I'm looking he may take the place of his quarter. We may mix things around with Tim Nano Williams. But Joe Marchant, that is the target for today. We also say welcome to the king, Mark Azula. Mupipi is in the side. The king is back. And I can't wait to see him score his first try in a rejects jersey. Two players on our bench now. Vola Vola down in 22. And our forward in 18. Today, we're going to extend that bench out another spot. How good, man. How very good. Of course, the fruit drinks are playing in this beautiful pink and blue kit. We're in the yellow, red, and black as we are underway. Kickoff from Stade Francais. And Kitchon grabs the ball down. Ready. Hits up for the first time. And Hoggard looks to well, he's the ball on. He's not looked to do much at all there. And Sefer Navalu has picked it up. Could be a turnover of the rejects. But a knock on. And some very rushed defense there from Stade Francais. Well, really took the kickoff down here. We saw Hoggard go, yeah, deep down. But a very good shot out of the line defense there. From Caragulis, maybe. The big French Sikaroa. Gabrielis is a very Set. powerful sort of player, but that speaking of power, take a look at that scrum. And speaking of power, take a look at top four, and take a look at Marco Zola, Mupipi, down the left wing, taking names and smashing prisoners. It's good at, oh, big hit there, and it's good at. Hoggard waits for it. He'll look to the safety of Lizana. The Argentinian goes deftly sideways. Hogard this side, are drawn into a bit of contact. Slow ball here for the rejects. Tough forward to Tim Nano Williams. Watch him dance, watch him go. He's a magician out there. Advantage. The Pepeo error. Error from the King. How about that ghost step? Please show me a replay of that ghost step. Here it is, watch this. Oh, 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 oh. now there's an animation. 
I have not seen in a long time Crouch. on this game. Bind. If ever. That was magic. Set. Another scrum. Oh, this time Star do very well. Weber. Oh, most an intercept there. Release. Hoggard was on that ball in a whisper of time. Weber. Are drawn. Gets in there very fast. Nothing real fancy here at the moment, but now they break away down the right hand edge. Mapipi outdone from a little inside play there. Penalty! Thomas Lozana on the ball again in a flash. And no way to release that ball. This is a bit of a concern here. That is a very nice kick from Jimmy. Very nice from Gopith gets us in the 22. He's concerned about that wind. How close we were to the sideline. No, not quite the 22, I lie. It looked like it sailed into the 22, but no. AR has called that one backwards. Oh, drawn to Hogan. Here is Kenneth. A danger! And first receiver! Five for Fita! Oh, it's crisp! It's clean! It's beautiful! Put it on the calendar! Five for Fita storming through! Looking for Kenneth! This was magic! Look at 14 there! Switching places with Gopith, who was down on the five meter channel. Slilky, smooth skills. And an outstanding finish as well from Bayer Fafita. How good is that? Jimmy Gopith loving to take that pressure off and let someone else take on that set piece play. Devastating form. Carreras loves a bit of ball at first receiver. Slips it over. Another good kick, Jimmy Gopith. And the rejects lead this one, seven points to nil. Lovely work to start things. There's a bit of a toil to get things underway for the rejects, but they lead first. Kredis, away Lozana, gets a fan. Now Thomas Lozana wants a friend. Oh, he doesn't need a friend. Steps inside, Lozana, solo brilliance from the big back row from Argentina. Oh, there was no way. There was no way he should have done that. Filthy, disgusting, insulting to the Stade Francais defense. Fan and away one there. Shepherding to the corner, stepped inside. Lackluster, an absolute best from Stard. And try number two, Thomas Lozana steps up. Well, how about that? Out of the top drawer from the former Haguares player. Jimmy Gopith adds another two, very quickly. A nil-nil stalemate becomes 14 points to nil. And the rejects are rocking. So don't come and knock it on our door. And here we go, this is where the lackluster defense started. Let's see if we can repeat the dose. And this time. Trickles his way through one. A bit of strife here, we'll look for there he is, Jimmy Gopith. So if we can drive this one into touch, can we get it away? No. Oh, twinkle toes down the sideline. Kinnetis, not one to normally look for the kick. He will run first, and Tim Nino Williams will get a little chip over the top there. It's Kuna looking to chase. Gets back there, good defense though from start. Numbers pile on in eventually, but it's pulled back. For the home team. Release. A little bit of position on this side. Brad Weber. Well, nothing kicked there. Took it. It's going to eat this one up for breakfast. Way for Nano Williams. Oh, he's dancing. He's offloading. Gopith not awake to that chance. He somehow clutches onto it. Nano Williams, not really the one you want on that ball with a clean return out of a ruck. He just kicked back into the 22 of the rejects. And that is a very good kick. Putting the pressure back on. And a bit of misjointed communi oh, communication there as we've 
Andrew Rennie has had a shocker. Not straight. He's had an absolute shocker. Massive opportunity now for Start to put some points on the board. Crouch. The scrum option with the line bind. out as well. They look for Set. the scrum to try and draw players all in together. Rejects don't hit their mark. Oh, that is a stalemate scrum, but it's come back. For Start to say. They go green or blue, they go blue. Read that like a book, but it's cut back in perfectly to the left side wing. Great chance here, slow on the breakdown. There's Weber, he's swallowing, oh there. Got way too much time down the short side, Brad Weber. Goes back that way, bulldozing through, but a great tackle from Canadas puts him in touch. Promised so much there, Stal saying. Let's see if we can Fix up that line outs. That's better, Andrew. That is better. Just seconds to go. Gopith with time over on the clock. Trolls it into touch. And not for the first time in this building season have we seen the rejects survive a late scare and send their opposition to half time on the brink of scoring some points. And not for the first time. The Rejects go to the break with a 14 point to nil lead over the last few rounds. This has been a good first half. It's been a real struggle. A couple of moments of brilliance, especially the Lazana try. And the one before was this perfectly executed set play. But uh, the start side, maybe on attack, they're not so great. But defensively, they are shutting us down. Look at that territory as well. We have had very, very little to go our way. So let's see if we can turn that around in the second half. Put some more points on the board and make sure we get our man, Joe Marchant, who I've not seen all game in the team, which is concerning, really concerning. 14-0. Comfortable enough for me. As long as we score the next try. Here is Goppet. Going very high. And it is so oh, How to get that away? Fafita. Ridiculous skill from the Argentinian. Our draw on to his Kuda, picks it up nicely, tries to hold on, hit midfield, hold on, he's as dangerous as Tomeno Williams. Put down, good defense. Talfu is there, gaping hole! Oh my word! I could have run through that hole. It was so huge, defensive laps by Star Francais. Everyone could have jumped on that and run through. Ben Samia Ferno was really eyeing it up like Christmas. What a little run there from Hogarth straight through the guts. And look at this. Opens up. John Talfua says, my oh my. Have half the field, why don't you, Jordan? Where was Big Ben? Even he would have gone through that gap. Well, I'm thinking odds on that Joe Marchant will be joining the Rejects now. 21 with this kick. If we can nail it right front, you'd... Almost put your house on it, the way the mortgage rates are. Don't have to pay it anymore. See you later, two points. Thanks for coming. It's 21-0. And the rejects looking calm, composed, and looking very, very dominant. Start have offered little on attack, apart from a couple of chances late in the first half. Great take. There it is. Kuda pops a beep around to Tidnella. Williams just got to be thrown over here. Swamped at the breakdown. Big play. Start France. Hey, they got all over that. Brad Webber taking too many plays by himself there. Needs to use his teammates. Now they're going to win. That's very good. Mobalu on the outside. Jimmy Goffin. Oh, that is outstanding. And just into touch. Jimmy Goffin's defense. Flawless. Right, let's get a line out right, lads. Ready. He's been under a bit of pressure. Sits him back. Jimmy Gopith. Let's just part this into touch. That's a good kick over the head. Bounces. Not quite there. A little bit of a territory game. Running away. Now Williams, though, makes a good tackle. Oh, and an injury. Oh, no. <laughs> it's so Marchant. Oh, dear. Um... Well, I didn't consider this to be happening. But Marchant has gone down. Um, and 
replacement comes Crouch. on. So find. We may be picking up an injured Shit. player. How bizarre! Scrum feed though. We'll start from say off the kick. Incredible that he got injured of all players. They go wide for cutting back. In the power of this back row from start. Release. Doing at the moment. The donut on the side of the home team. I would love to keep it that way too as we now ourselves near the L mark. The Pippi's got work to do. Got to see a try from him as well tonight. Oh, what defense from the King. Brad Webber running out of ideas here. He really does run the whole attack through him. Reading has had a lot of work tonight. Lazana at the back. Hogard eyes a hole. Oh, again, a little check, a little drive, a little offline as well. It's our four. Some quick ball. We could be in here. Advantage. Oh, he's knocked it on. Oh, what a chance. What a chance for Tyler Arzron to run through. Beautiful run, though, from Francois Hogard. Little Hoggy did it all. So many numbers. Crouch. Big Ben was right Bind. there. I really want to get a try to Big Ben. Set. Mipimpy on that far side. See that last camera cut? Oh, good hit there from the Regex. Doesn't get the possession though. Right, we've got to defend. Great chase down there from Hogard once more. Back to the scrum where it was set down. No real room there for Start to go through, but now they do. Looking left side, it's a pace race. Down for Lozada. No one's going to catch him down the left wing. Thomas Lozada, no chance. And Tukalé can do nothing but shepherd them to the corner. And it is a try to start front say. Left wing side. Pierre Bowden out it is. Very good finish from start. Sifa Naivalu started it all. His link up play, perfect. Beating defenders, making the offloads. And my comfort levels about this game have gone from 100 to about 40. Confidence of victory, out the window. No Joe Marchant though. How ironic is that? Well, he's still ours if we win. 15 minutes remain and that kick is swinging wide. Just nudging the outside of the right hand upright. And that will secure our victory, I feel. 15 minutes just under. They still had to score three times. Gopeth goes to the heavens again. Yeah, we don't pull out of that with any reward. Weber. Uh oh. They are changing momentum, they are switching gears. Double switch of play, and straight up the guts they go with the big man. Bond out was involved. Well, let's go, this is ridiculous. Can't make a tackle on anyone. Weber, no fullback in place, which is very dangerous. Great tackle there on Navalu. Weber, this side, bending through. Again, very hard to stop. This has absolutely changed the whole game. Well, there's Bond swimming man. Since when do we learn? Lose and forget how to tackle. Same as for Pimpy. We've not scored much in this later period. It's Weber. There it is. Oh, my word. We are getting absolutely outplayed. And if they could kick their goals, we would be in a world of trouble. Etienne scores down the right. But these runs are just ridiculous. How do you stop this? Picked up, quick ball. Tukulet, no chance. I keep trying to forget, I keep forgetting that Tukulet's a fullback, not Bola Bola. He was riding the pine for this one. Speaking of riding the pine, I feel like we need to make a change. Before you take this kick, good sir, let's make those changes. Uh, let's make, no, I'm leaving Tommy Funa on. I will make no changes there. But let's get let's get a little bit of volleyball on. Uh, let's rest those old weary legs of Jimmy Gopper. We've only got the one change we can really make. Conversion, much better, much better shot at goal. Lead is cut down to nine points. And if only that little sliver away to the right, 
had gone over. This could have been a grand stand finish. Jimmy Gopith. Hey, you like that? A little bit of depth in the team. Hey, how about that? Tukalet's going to take over the in-game kicking duties. The fullback. Bola Bola will take reins at 10. I don't want to take off Tamiya Funa just yet. I feel like we've got to get him acclimatised to the scene first. This, this is not good, man. Should be a turnover. It's Ardron. Dropped one earlier. Now he's got it on his side. Tafula goes straight up the guts. Looks back for Lozada. Bit more pace than the Argentinian. Ready pulls it in. Bola Bola. A lot of Mapipi! Clear! Run! Home! Marco Zola! Mapipi! There's the try. There's the finish. How good to see the man in a reject shirt. Finishing the job here against Stade Francais. They rattled us. They shook the cage. But they were no match for the initial break of John Zalfoua. Some quick hands and a very, very calm finish by Marcus Olam and Pimpi. That's what we've been waiting for. Good to see subs on the field as well. I mean, it's all coming up plus plus for us, us, isn't it? Brilliant stuff. Time is almost up. Let's just milk the living snot out of this. I'll take it. Thanks for coming. Bola Bola, have yourself a couple of free points. There's the conversion. Kick is good. Game is done. Joe Marchant, get out of the ambulance. Get out of the hospital. You're coming to the rejects. There it is, full time. The injury plagued Joe Marchant will be joining the Super Rugby Rejects. The irony in that happening is just incredible. Let's be honest. Bit of a fist bump there from Brad Weber. A man we will soon see, I hope, in a Rejects jersey as well. The two wingers scoring for Start Francais. Bonnard and Etienne, Etienne scoring one each. And Henry, well, if he could have got that first one, it really would have been game on for Stard to come back. But the Rejects, with that little bit of extra confidence in their step, managed to shut it out. Fafita, Lazana, Telfua, and Mukazolima Pippi. Try on debut as well. Love to see it. Three conversions for Jimmy Gopith. And off the bench, Pierre Bolavola picked up the one. Full time stats. An even matchup. We pull back a little bit of territory. Enough to be convincing. But the second half really was all about start as they dominated that final 10 minutes before half time and pretty much that whole second half. But like we said at the break, their attack lacked that really incision ability to make an impact. The defense was good, but the rejects got the job done. Joe, welcome. Let's, let's get you out of that cast and get you into the team. So let's get ourselves the new man into the team. I mean, thankfully, injuries aren't a huge issue right now but let's uh learn spinel's name right m-a-r-c-h-a-n-t there he is joe marchant injury plagued but uh that will probably pay a bit more of a problem when we get to the actual season for now these players are pretty fit and ready to go we're going to really mix up this back line now so forbes is out of the 23 marchant will come in for i think is good who will make his way to the bench as well a versatile backline player Martin will go to 12 or 13. I'm not quite sure. Obviously preferring to play in the 13 jumper. But um, we can swap Tim Nano Williams as well, around as well. And get a little bit more from those two. As a bit more ball in the hands of Timmy. Who's a bit of a danger man. But of course Martin. The power of course. And precision of his play at outside centre. Let's have a look at his position. Of course we have seen him play uh, on the wing. And at fullback as well throughout his career so maybe the versatility is here for him if required when the season does get underway of course 27 years of age now and with a number of caps for harlequins at his career england representative up until the current day of the rugby world cup good powerful ball runner with all that breaking tackle he's good with pace as well uh, we should see a lot of good work from him into this midfield which is full of star studded players but there we go joe marchant welcome to the team and finally, a little bit of diversity, right? We've got New Zealanders, we've got Tongans, Samoans, Fijians, everything like that. But now, a little bit of England, right? And possibly the only one we'll get as well. Until next time, we'll be we go, hmm, searching 
for yet another player to join the team. Maybe we go back to the forwards. Um, a couple of big names we could pick up in those forwards as well. I'm looking maybe hooker is something we need to improve. The second row uh, definitely needs to improve as well. So plenty of names, plenty of options. Uh, let's see where we go for that next player. Until then, though, thanks for watching. Welcome, Joe. And we'll see him next episode back from his injury. Until then, though, thanks for watching as always, and take care.